it's time again we talk about where to sell all of your crap, shall we? <laughs> Those of you that don't know, every Sunday I do a live stream on my channel going through the auctions. I go through ZNG Emporiums, eBay auctions, I go through Fanatics auctions. It's a great time. Yesterday I just had a live stream and it's an awesome time. Kind of just market recapping, seeing where things are selling, and it's fantastic. Recently, I posed the question to a friend uh, during his, one of his line st live streams. It was Catch Mall Collectibles asking him where I should sell some of my sealed stuff. And also, and I'm going to talk about in this video, kind of where I would sell some of your slabs if you have them and you don't have an outlet now. So let's get into the video, shall we? So as I mentioned, I have a bunch of uh, sealed product that I am looking to move in the next four or five months. That is my plan. So I asked the question to Catch Mall Collectibles. Shout out Catch Mall Collectibles. Go check out his channel. Link down below in the description. I asked the question, hey, Dan, where do you think I should sell all of my sealed products? His answer, awesome answer, was just try and go sell it in person. Try and get quick $100 bills. Take 80% because his reasoning, if you were to go just sell it through TCG Player, the, the, the flip rate isn't going to be as quick as you'd like it to be. Um, you're going to get 100%, but really it's going to be 80% with the fees, the shipping, everything involved. It'll probably be closer to 80%. Um, so if you're able to take it to a local game store or sell it on Facebook or something else and actually get cold $100 bills, sell it at 80% where they think they feel like they're winning, you're, you're winning, getting out of your sealed product, uh, it, it is something that can be done. And it made sense to me. That's, I've thought about that, and that's the way I kinda, I've kind of i sold sealed in the past, actually through Facebook Marketplace. Um, but I have not really reached out to LGSs except the one I play cards at, which he's not into buying that much sealed product. So i got to go to a bigger LGS, which there is tons of them around here. Um, so I'll let you guys know how that goes. I'm going to go put some feelers out here really soon um, just to see what they think, how they'd want to do it, if they'd want to do it, what percentage they want to buy it for. So like I said, I have roughly, I don't know, $25-ish thousand dollars in sealed product. So that's going to be hopefully moving in the next five months to move into the next sealed product. So selling, buying instantly, not really doing much else with that. Um, and that takes us to the slabs. And the slabs for me is interesting because I have sold tons and tons of graded cards. If you've watched me doing these videos for four months, I have sold through pretty much any possible avenue you could effing think about. Um, starting with, of course, eBay. The number one you would, everyone goes to, your own eBay page. I've had mine since 2009. I've sold things on there since 2009. I didn't make it in 2009 to start freaking just buying things i was selling Yu-Gi-Oh singles on in that ebay and it was freaking amazing now family two kids wife dog school work full-time very full-time it's tough i do the live streams on sundays i i don't have a lot of time and i've had i've mentioned this in clips and here spots there in different videos what i'm doing people the people that are watching me kind of know what i'm doing where i sell things but I figure I'd put it all in one video because it's been a while since I I feel like I've talked about it all inside of one video. So the sealed product, better in person. It's going to flip quicker. Slabs online, not in person. Complete 180. Doing it in person, I guess you could go to GameStop. Quick burn and turn. That's, you're going to get the quickest turn for the money right there. So you can do that. That is an option. And I would just be careful with the offers you can give you because it could be... Could be dicey, but it could be good in a couple of cases. I've seen some wins. Um, so GameStop is an option. You could go to an LGS. You're going to get fried if you go to an LGS. In general, most cases, uh, 60%, not great. 65 maybe 70 You get lucky if you go to an LGS and they throw you 80 85%. If they do, it's because you're coming to them with like a graded 10, uh, 151 card or Umbreon VMAX or something liquid um so don't recommend that at all to be honest that would be if you are like in dire need of getting cash you can go do that and get cash um but the biggest recommendation for graded cards is consignment services online 
outside of doing it through your own eBay, of course you could do that. But I'll explain why you probably don't want to do that. So there are some people in the hobby. Like I said, I stream the Fanatics and ZNG Emporium auctions. The reasons I do that is because those consignment services are freaking amazing. They have awesome things ending every Sunday. People use the shit out of their services. Again, ZNG Emporium, the website is linked down below in the description if you want to consign cards through him. Not sponsored from him or Fanatics. You could go reach out to Catch Mall Collectibles, who gets a, a better rate if you consign through Fanatics.com. Now, if you were just go to Fanatics and consign through them, you're going to pay their fees. Recommend just go through Dan. You will save money going through Dan because he is a, a dealer with them. Now, ZNG Emporium is a dealer through eBay. He gets preferred rates through eBay. So an example, if I sell an item for $1,000 to $3,000 through ZNG Emporium, I'm getting 93% of the sale. I sell a card for $1,000, I'm getting $930. That's, that's pretty straightforward. If I sold it out of my own eBay, I'm paying 13-ish percent. 12, I am a top-rated seller. I think it's like 12 and a half-ish percent. I would be paying right off the rip. I'm, I'm, I'm making more money. I'm making five and a half more percent just sending it to James. He does the photos. He does the listings. They sell on eBay Sunday evenings, always on Sundays, in a freaking seven-day auction. The times are not terrible. Like, sometimes you can consign through other companies. Uh, shout out to DC Sports. Shout out Propstein. Those people through eBay, cons their auctions end randomly. Different days and times and days of the week, it's dark. Um, I guess Z&G Emporium could get there if they get big enough, but ideally they would do similar something to PWCC, condensed auction times and blah, blah, blah. But right now it's only on Sundays, which is phenomenal. It's the best part about it. You know every week, you know what you're looking for. Z&G auctions end on Sunday. That's, it's amazing. It's, you know what you're looking for. You can put it on your freaking calendar and check there every week. It makes it really easy for people buying to go check it once, one day every week. And just watch the auctions. Go look real quick, see what you want to buy. And they tend to do pretty well. The, like, the number of eyes on his eBay is way more than the eyes on my eBay. So just the number of viewers, everything. I could not recommend it enough. All you do is literally package it up and send it to them. They're, like, go through the instructions on his website, and then they do the rest. And then you get a payout pretty quickly, very quickly. Have done it several times. And similar, the, basically the same situation for the Fanatics consignment. It's just going to a different location. A little bit different rates. You're not getting as many eyes as when you consign through eBay. Um, eBay is kind of my go-to, generally. Uh, if you have some niche PSA 10 things, uh, they can do better through Fanatics. Some of that higher end stuff can do better through Fanatics. Um, but eBay is kind of my go-to. It's my bogey. Uh, a lot of my stuff is going there through consignment, even though I'm a top rated seller with the, some of the best rates with an eBay store, waste of time. Uh, I'm sending 90% of my stuff through Z&G Emporium for consignment service. It just saves me time. And I, that's, again, I've said it a million times, time is expensive. And I freaking appreciate all the consignment services that exist. They're basically like my employees and it's freaking amazing. I don't have to do nothing, ship it and I'm done. So I do recommend doing the consignment services. Um, if you have raw cards, there is a consignment service I'd recommend, which would be DC Sports 87. They do raw cards as well. Um, pretty good service. I do enjoy, I have sent and sold raw cards through them. They also do graded cards. Uh, their back end is phenomenal inside of there. Uh, it's basically one and the same as Fanatics, if not even a little bit better. But DC Sports does their consignments through eBay as well, just like Z&G Emporium. ZNG has better rates. So I would go with ZNG Emporium traditionally. Um, but some of those raw cards and maybe cards under $100, DC Sports 87 does make a sense. It makes sense. So take a look at it. They also will be linked down below in the description if you want to check them out. Um, besides that, raw cards would not, it's not a bad idea to take them to some LGSs or grade them. 
get them graded. It's an option. Take a look. Do watch some videos. Learn how to grade some cards. Send in send in some cards to get graded and start feeling that out. It's you make you can make more money with a graded card. The issue with selling raw cards is you sometimes have to take 10 pictures to sell one card. That is not optimal. That takes a lot of freaking time. I've sold so many $40 cards back in my days when I was selling on Facebook where dudes was like, oh, send me top left, bottom right, all these different angles. Send it all to me, and then it ghosts. Like, it's just, it's dark. So having cards graded is the easiest way to sell them. You need two pictures maximum, generally, and then you're done. In most cases, you only need a front and a back picture, and then you're done. Nowadays, they can just scan the QR code if they want to zoom in and get all touchy-feely with it and dig in a little bit more. Go knock your socks off, bud. Um, I'm all set. I like grading my cards, and it's also it's easier than selling like binder sets. When you sell binder sets, you get cooked usually. Like the people buying binder sets, most of the time are not collectors. They're usually buying those, and they're gonna crack them down into little individual cards and sell them. So I would stick away from selling binder sets unless you're desperately in need for money. Um, cause you're better off probably breaking it down yourself and graded the, the individual cards in some cases, sometimes binder sets do do better, but just take a look at the market on eBay and look at the sold listings, wrap it all in, uh, just to reiterate sealed products, go through individual in person, take 80% generally is kind of the play. You're not going to get a hundred percent mostly anywhere with everything having fees especially if you're a Joe Schmo like me. If you don't have your own website, you don't have any other means. There's not really a consignment service for sealed products anymore that I can, that I know of. So you're better off selling it in person, getting cash. Just be careful out there in, in the real world. You know, that's a lot of money you're carrying with you. So just be careful on that. And then again, with the graded cards, consignment service, ZNG Emporium is my top. Catch them all collectibles is right there behind them. Um, do not, could not recommend enough. Appreciate you guys watching the video. Hope you learned something. Any questions, hit me up on Instagram. Also link down below in the description. Y'all have a good one. Peace. <laughs>